In this lesson, we'll get familiar with some of the basic electrical settings we'll be using for our project. Okay, so we have a small little office complex here, or office suite. And our goal for this course and throughout this course is to model and define a circuit system for each area throughout our floor plan. So we'll basically be applying some code concepts and some rules of thumb to different areas. Um, different areas have different functions, which might require uh, different scenarios for our circuit system. So the first thing I want to do is get familiar with uh, some of these electrical settings we'll be working with. And to actually access those electrical settings, you just simply go to your management tab here at the top. And under MEP settings, we'll go to that drop down and we're going to focus our attention on our electrical settings. And once we click on that, you'll notice a window that pops up and we have a number of options here. Um, I'm going to focus our attention on some of the more basic concepts, um, less engineering involved in this, um, but concepts you'll definitely run into and that are very common when it comes to designing this circuit system. Uh, the first thing I'd like to jump to is our wiring. Um, underneath wiring here, we can actually tell Revit a number of parameters associated with our wire. Uh, we could go with wire size. And you'll see here from this window, we've got a number of wire sizes to choose from. So it tells us our ampacity, our wire size, the diameter. Um, you can scroll down and you can see we have a lot to work with here. But not only do we have a lot of information in this one, but if you go to the top here underneath material, we have the option to choose the type of material we have for our wiring. So we can go with aluminum or we can go with copper. So in our system, we're going to have copper wiring. So I'll switch from aluminum to copper. We can also make adjustments to the temperature that we want to specify for those wires. So right now, by default, we're set at about 60 degrees. I'm going to go to my drop down and I'm going to change that to 75 degrees. Um, this will be a little bit better for what's going on with our project here. So not only can we mess with the sizes, the material, there's also wiring types. Um, you can see we've got names, material. Again, a lot of the things that we were working with in our previous window are actually located here. But again, I'm going to go ahead and make some changes to my temperature ratings here. I'm going to go from 60 to 75 here. Um, I'm going to keep my wiring at copper here, which is perfect. And we're not too worried about conduit. We're not modeling any conduit in this course. So we're going to pretty much make those only two changes. So another important uh, aspect within these electrical settings is voltage definitions. And this is very, very important. Now, in our system, we are going to have a system that's going to need to be able to handle 120 volts as well as 240 volts. Most of our receptacles throughout our design are going to be 120 volts. Uh, you'll find those very simple receptacles on the walls in our office setting, break areas, and common areas. But when it gets to areas where there's moisture and the risk of shorting something out is much higher, then we'll, that's when we'll need to have uh, to be able to have a special breaker uh, that can, one, handle higher equipment capacity, but also we're going to have to have special GFCI switches uh, according to code in areas with high moisture. So I'm definitely going to keep this in the mind um, when we're setting up our distribution center. But you can see we've got all a nice wide range of voltages to work from here. And you can see our 120 here, which we'll definitely be accessing. And you can see our 240. And there's also a min and a max associated with that. And I think that calculation um, is maybe 10% below our voltage here and then 10% above. So we can also def check out our distribution systems. So once we start placing some of our fixtures throughout, um, we're going to have to, spe especially with our panel, we're going to have to specify the type of distribution system. And as I mentioned earlier, um, our circuit's going to need to be able to handle anything that's 120 volts, but also 240 volts for anything that's larger equipment, maybe in the server room um, or something like that. And there's ways that we can calculate how we can handle that and how many we can have. So we'll keep this in mind uh, before we start laying things out. But for our purposes, when we place our panel, we definitely need to make sure that we go with this 120 uh, over 240 single system here. This, that way we can reduce the risk of fires and frying any equipment. And anything that we have in place, fixtures, lighting, or even appliances, uh, we'll be able to handle that load and that circuit will definitely be able to handle it. So with these things in mind, uh, we can go ahead and start jumping into placing some of our receptacles and fixtures through
throughout our design. And we'll get into that in the next lesson, and I'll see you there.